ready today your girl has to do her groceries okay I've been eating out the whole time since I got here and it's not economical at all yeah so I'm gonna go do my groceries today but first things first we need to write a grocery list I wanted to like get a pen and paper and like write down my grocery list for the vlog but I'm like I don't do that <laughs> I actually just always write my groceries on my phone so yeah, I'm gonna quickly write down what I need. to get groceries now but first things first breakfast so I'm gonna have a, a typical Italian breakfast just gonna go to the cafe and get some coffee cafe and a cornetto the groceries we've come to the international markets this is at Vittorio Emanuel and this is where you find like most of the international food like stuff that you're not gonna find in an Italian supermarket so like 
food from everywhere there's like Indian food Pakistani food African food this is like where people come to buy their stuff and it's also very affordable so yeah this is where I'm gonna get like my rice my meat most of my vegetables and it's very convenient it's also very fresh so yeah let's start the grocery shopping Okay, so we just finished with the markets. I got all my meat, vegetables, fruits, spices. It's actually pretty cheap. Like, I'm like, okay, yes, this is cheap. <laughs> Yeah, so I hear if you like, you know, know your stuff and everything, you can actually do your groceries for the whole month for like 50 euros. So yeah, I think that's pretty affordable if you ask me. So we're going back home to leave these bags and then we're going to go to the Italian. <laughs> we're going to go home, leave the bags and then we're going to go to an Italian supermarket to get like the pastas and the main food. Yeah, the main food, the milk, the, the everyday other stuff that you find in an Italian supermarket. Or in a supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> So we got like all our spices for literally the same price as one of this crazy. Do you normally take? I eat integrale. <laughs> okay, which one is it? I mean, this is just plain integrale. This is white bread, but bio. This mm -hmm. is plain white bread, also. Mm -hmm. Mostly integrale, but with like different seeds. Mm -hmm. This is your. Okay, the difference is this is American and this is like the Italian one. The Italian one is smaller. Mm -hmm. And then this one is your it's like the bigger slice. Slice. I don't eat bread that much. So don't get it. I mean I do eat bread but not that much. So like a smaller my thing is a smaller loaf is what I mean. So 
here it depends you want cereal or the brown one or the white one the brown one is fine it's healthier healthier choices Plant-based milk. I usually drink soya. So. Uh, this is vanilla. This is chocolate. Then this is a type of coffee. Nah, I'm not a coffee person. You know this. Oh, this is coffee. And then there's your tea. You know me and my tea. Yep. There's a whole lot of tea. It's <laughs> a whole lot of tea in this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so these are like toast per se, but not really toast. Mm -hmm. So you have this with your jam. See, they're next to each other. So it's a like jam. Okay. Our integrale, the classic, bio. This one has fruit. This one has chocolate. By the way, guys, integrale means brown. Yeah. I think they know that. Do they? Integrale. Do they though? Because I didn't. <laughs> you have your different cookies. Uh -huh. okay, I don't eat chocolate, so I just didn't eat it. Okay. But y'all chocolate fans, a whole lot like of Like me, I'm a chocolate fan. <laughs> but yeah, just showing y'all what like a typical Italian supermarket has and what they eat over here. Yeah. Telling you about you were asking about whole rice and rice. Mm -hmm. With this, instead, it's just like five two minutes. You boil it. Mm -hmm. and this has beef. Inside okay. It. This has like prosciutto, which is like ham. Ah. So you can make a sauce or mm -hmm. a broth or plain as it is. Okay. It's on you and how you like it. So you don't always need to have pasta. Okay. What is this called? It's called tortellini. Tortellini. Nochi. Mm -hmm. You just make like a red sauce. Mm -hmm. You boil it. You put it. It's really nice though. Okay. The type of pasta as well. Alright. It's made from potatoes actually. Yeah. Di patate ricotti. <laughs> this is your ravioli. So this one has salami. Mm -hmm. I usually have the one with cheese ricotta and Okay. You boil it the same and it's how you make it. Got it. So which ones are we getting? I literally oh, wanna eat oh, them no, all. These you don't eat them? Oh okay. You will get fit. fit. <laughs> you will get fit. <laughs> Listen, this is the hill I'm willing to die on. Okay. Italian food. <laughs> Pasta in Italia. <laughs> Literally, there's like a whole aisle of like different types of pasta. So there's spaghetti, there's fusilli, penne. penne. It's just your tortillo, you doing, you know? noci. <laughs> We're trying to make healthy choices. So we're doing some integrale, some penne, and so when you eat the pasta, of course, you have your different sauce. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, guys. Like there's a lot. 
This is okay, just your normal tomato. So. Yeah. And then let me teach you the proper one. Okay. This is different flavors. Okay, so this is what eggplant. Mm -hmm. This one has meat, so this is your bolognese. Mm -hmm. Um, the same. It's just different brands now, but mm -hmm. this is mainly what you have with your pasta. You boil your pasta, mm -hmm. then you make this one. Okay. or this one or whichever you want okay then you make it a sauce then you mix them together mm -hmm. and then you add your your cheese yeah pretty much oh, oh also something that they really have a lot mm -hmm. is pesto okay you need to try pesto okay let's get some so pesto so you then. have your ton, your pesto the olive one mm -hmm. then they started making the red one Okay. But the normal, normal one is the, the green one. Yeah. in Italy like tell me how a bottle is like two euro guys it's so cheap like this actually shocked me the first time I saw the price like tell me how you can literally become a drunkard in this country <laughs> Over, but yeah, <laughs> two years over. back home I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul for you guys and like reconcile our accounts but I'm so glad I was within budget I plan to spend 50 euros on my grocery and I managed to stay within the budget so I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I got while I pack them away so from the market let's start with like the vegetables and stuff onions garlic patate um, like the bell peppers, carrots, cucumber. I got fruit, bananas, and avocados, and mandarins as well. Right here. So, yeah, this is what we got mainly. And we also got rice. I got some riso some spices oh this was a bargain like this was a big bargain hey. like <laughs> all these for two euro <laughs> so that's like a big bargain and then we also got meat i keep saying we because my baby here and my house is half out il mio do you want to say it again mio casa tu casa il mio casa tu casa Exactly, so we also got meat, I got some beef um, and some chicken. I'm not going to open it for you guys, but yeah, some beef, some chicken breast, chicken drums. Yeah, so this is what we got from the market. And then from the supermarket, you guys 
so most of the stuff because we like I was explaining while in the supermarket but basically I got yogurt um, yeah yogurt I got bread some muesli for breakfast I got some chambeloni my absolute favorite thing <laughs> This is the first thing I had for breakfast and I absolutely fell in love. So yeah, I had to get some chams, tambaloni, and then I got my cans, uh, bianchi di spana, some lentils, uh, some chickpeas, and some red beans as well. Um, yeah, and then I got some cheese, some pesto, and some bolognese, and some pasta sauce yeah and then I got my pasta so, so I got some tortellini spaghetti penne lots of pasta and some noci some tortillas I got some latte milk and some apple juice some parmesan cheese for my pasta and some fresh mozzarella some tomatoes and some salads so yeah this is what i got these are basically like my groceries guys for this month okay guys thank you so much for watching today's video thank you for coming grocery shopping with me i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did i love doing my groceries so yeah and obviously thank you to Kosi behind the camera for taking us around and telling us how to you know do things in italy because like i'm still a newbie so it's, it's very ironic how i try to like share my experiences with you guys and tell you things but i'm also still kind of learning so yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Do make sure to give this video a big fat big thumbs up so that I can keep making more videos for you guys. I will see you in my next upload. I love you. Ciao!